one thing I will say for Lacey, even though he may be in that class, he's still fighting with good intentions right now and a desire to win. So anything can happen in this fight. If Jermaine gets tired or fatigued anywhere along the way, Lacey is standing in a position with his mindset to turn this fight around. Another terrific right-left combination by Jermaine Taylor. Lacey showing some heart. Fights back with the right hand. Well, earlier on this undercard, you got the professional debut of the only medal-winning fighter on the Beijing Olympic team for the United States, heavyweight Deontay Wilder, six feet seven inches, 23 years old from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, against Ethan Cox. Watch the perfect counter right hand shot right there. That was the best thing Wilder did in his two rounds against Cox. Shortly after that, he poured it on with another onslaught of right hands, and that produced the first victory of Wilder's career by knockout. We'll see if he can produce some excitement for the United States in the heavyweight division. Then Kermit Cintron, trying to rebound from his second loss to Antonio Margarito, fought tough veteran Love More and Do in the welterweight division. And the greater skills and better hand speed of Cintron carried the day as he rolled to a unanimous decision victory, a step back toward good things. For Kermit Cintron, who's only lost twice in his professional career, both losses to Antonio Margarito. Daniel, you used to train Centron. What'd you think of the way he looked tonight? I thought he looked pretty good. The guy he fought was very difficult to fight. Nitu was basically smothering him for the most part and neutralized Herman's great punching power. So Kermit had to grind out a decision victory. Not necessarily his profile as a fighter, but he got it done in professional fashion. And he finished up strong in the tough round. Copy box numbers through eight, as I mentioned, very one-sided. Taylor landing 133 to only 50 for Lacey, even though Lacey has actually thrown a few punches more. So great efficiency and great accuracy in the fight for Jermaine Taylor, who has so far found Lacey an easy target for his jab and his right cross and his left hook, mostly thrown as counter punches. Right. Step back. Right there. Mouthpiece. Taylor's came out. Nope, it was Lacey's mouthpiece who came out. Now replaced oh. by Roger Bloodworth. An old time fighter named Ted Kid Lewis from London was the first one to use a mouthpiece. He had a dentist make him a mouthpiece. Fighters in those days would use oranges as mouthpieces, orange skins. And some fighters wouldn't fight him because they thought he had an advantage. I guess he did. Excellent jabbing by Jermaine Taylor. Pistol pumping the jab. One right after another. Did I say pistol pumping? I meant piston pumping. <laughs> Box! I don't believe pistols pump. Come on, let go. Lacey lands a jab, stepping in. But as usual, one punch at a time for Jeff. It's desperation time for Lacey. Coming down the stretch of the ninth round of a schedule 12. Jermaine Taylor has in all likelihood won all but a single round. A round in which Taylor went to the canvas, but Lacey was not given credit for a knockdown. Didn't we see that fight last week?
You understand what I'm saying? You're coming up, you're stopping and letting him set up. If you don't let him set, he can't get off. You got to give it all, baby, because you need every round. You need to take him out. You got to drop it. Off of that jab, very important. Put ice on this neck. Very important, off of that jab. You're winning the fight? Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't look good. I just don't want to give up nothing. Nothing. Don't even hold him. Don't hold him. Here you see Jermaine working his, as you were saying, Jim, his pistols and like left jab. <laughs> yep. And he's working it beautiful, too. He's really pumping it. Second up. And, and Lacey has no defense for it. Look, he even hooked off of the jab. Time. A little pop for hey. the piston industry at this moment of the hopes for bailout. Harold. Any bailout for Lacey so far? Nah, not really. 89, 82, eight runs to one, Jermaine Taylor. Jim, I gotta tell you something. You know, Jermaine Taylor's doing a great job with, with his jab, with the straight right hands. He's punching him to death. He's mugging a guy, but he's also holding. Uh, in the eighth round, Lawrence Cold yelled, second warning for holding. Watch Jermaine. A couple of good shots, and then he grabs him. What's happening is the holding is free. Right there, you see he's holding him. He's holding Lacey, and it's frustrating the devil out of Lacey, because Lacey he can't punch when he's being held. Is it Eight to one, Taylor. Is it tactical holding or is his uh, it's stamina? Or is his no, stamina? Tactical, tactical. Or is his stamina issue beginning, I'm beginning to arise? I'm beginning to question that also, uh, Larry. Well, if the stamina issue is showing up, it sure as heck didn't hurt him much in round nine when he landed 16 jabs and 26 total punches, both his high numbers for the fight. Even when Lacey is punching me, it still just because it doesn't land too many punches. It's uh, ineffective aggression. So Jermaine is smart. He's taking his breaks, tying him up, resting, taking his, and then explodes all of a sudden again. I think the holding is created as much as anything by Lacey falling on him after lunging forward to try to land the punch. Right there. He heard Roger Bloodworth telling him that he must drop Taylor. So he understands what it takes to have any chance to win the fight. He has no defense at all for Jermaine Taylor's death. But Jermaine does have a defense for Lace's right hand. He puts his left hand up high and that moves his stop the right hand from coming through. Two more right hands landing for Taylor. He's winging them a little wide now, yep. and therefore some of the effect is Yeah, lost. because he, he draws back. You can see the right hand coming, so even though he lands, it doesn't land with the effect that if, if he didn't see it. But, but Lacey doesn't have any defense. He just bends his body over to the right and just takes the jab to the right hand. He doesn't roll his shoulders. He doesn't slip. He just bends slightly to his right and just chews him up. Listen, you're letting him slide on this. You set up, you hit him with a nice one, too, but then you stand there and look at him, let him set up again, okay? Don't let him set up. Okay. Either move, move to your left, move to your right, but when you come, come with two jabs and throw that right hand straight. Don't try to bring it over the top. Just throw it straight, come back with a hook. Put your combinations together. And he's going to turn. more to go, babe. Come on, it's working. Don't get him nothing. Stay off the ropes. Keep him in the middle of the center ring and stay behind that jail. Oh, you told him that you to that jail. Second out. Come box numbers in round Come 10. On, more of the same. Taylor 16 out of 46. Lacey 5 out of 36. The jab contest has been no contest. Taylor landing 95 of them through 10 rounds. Only 27 for Lacey. 
The jab contest wasn't Set. supposed to be a contest. Time, neutral corner. Come on. Lacey 